gnome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my thoughts keep telling me to let me out Oh, just let me out How's it going lads, Marshall here and welcome to another Inform Analysis. Now one player most of you have requested this week, it is Dejan Damjanovic. Now this guy is discard price on both consoles guys, 10k and 10k, but if you're looking for coins, check out your take coins now. Use that code Marshall5 to get 5% off. I know they released the 50k packs last night, they got 35k packs on today. And the Legend cards are out as well, plus the PlayStation 4, Next Gen, etc, etc. Now this guy's got a 4 star refill and a 3 star skill move set, and as you can see, he's 6-2 with a high to low work rate. So so being 6'2", he's always going to be in that box, especially with the height to low work rate, and he's actually got a trait of likes to beat the offside trap, but this guy isn't pacey, so he's not going to do that. Now he's got 95 finishing, which is insane, given that his shot power and his long shots are also very, very good, and in this episode, I score one if not the best goal of my FIFA 14, I don't know if you can call it career, <laughs> that's uh, it's a bit far-fetched, but um, yeah, FIFA 14 so far, it's my best goal, without a shadow of a doubt, and in this game, I beat this guy by 12 goals to nil. This is my first game with Damjanovic, and just guess how many he scored. He scored 11 goals in my first game, so I'll show you a few of them straight off the bat. Two cracking goals at one from range. Now, the best so far in FIFA 14 for me is this. What a fucking goal that is. Bicycle sideway kick, whatever you want to call it. A sideway scissor kick, bicycle kick, overhead kick. I don't think it was quite overhead. But that is a sensational goal, especially for someone that's 6'2". He's not very agile, but my god, what a strike. You'll see it in the replays as well. This is from the edge of the area. It goes in off the crossbar. The keeper's got no chance. No goalkeeper on this game's got a chance in hell of saving that. That's just amazing and that's with his weak foot as well that four star weak foot so that weak foot doesn't really make a difference whatsoever you can use both feet with this guy and like I said I beat this guy by 12 goals to nil Damjanovic got 11 that is my biggest win in uh, FIFA 14 as well so I scored my best goal so far and I got my biggest win as well and how about that for a goal as well that was a finesse across the goal but he got so much power behind it and that is another cracker now we'll go back to that game later on because I can't really show you all 11 goals in a row that would just be stupid so he scored from a corner and then he does this running through everybody now this guy isn't the fastest in the world but his ball control is pretty decent and given that his ball control is good you can do that kind of um stop start run and you can get past the loads of players from corners this guy at 6-2 is very very deadly it's unbelievable and um yeah coming inside ball control sensational just look at how he does that he's very unlucky to hit the post now this guy's pros are he's finishing which you've seen already his long shots again which you've already seen again and all one strike that is and that was with his left foot again that weak foot four star it really does not make a difference his heading is sensational another header right there into the bottom corner he's so accurate as well with those headers it um yeah it just it really does make a difference and this is one of the players that you're not really gonna try and i think that's why he's 10k because he's an underrated in form he's playing in a crap league um that's no disrespect to the korean league because in terms of FIFA, it is a crap league because you can't make many good squads out of it. I wasn't like uh, dissing the league or anything like that. But with Damjanovic, that is a con because squad building wise, his nationality plays a, ba um, a major part. A major part. And uh, yeah, uh, the Korean league does also play a major part in not finding many squads for this excellent inform. I've got to say, and just look at another strike in this 12-0 win. Cracking goal across the goalkeeper. His other con, which I did kind of speak of earlier on, is his pace, but it really doesn't matter from time to time because his ball control is that good, because he's staying on the last man, and because he's in the box constantly to score goals. He's just a poacher. He's just a goal scorer, and he scores some great goals. Like I said, it's just, um, yeah, it's a pity that he's not in a better league, say La Liga, the Liga Un, or the Premier League, or something like that, the Bundesliga, etc, etc because you'll be able to build better squads around them. And that was the final goal. I've only given them a 4 or 5 star rating simply because of those cons. And that's it, guys. Like if you did enjoy, sub if you haven't. Catch you all next time.